But let's start on the offense. That's where the Bills started the day. They took the first drive of the day. And right off the bat, Khalil Shakir, he makes his presence fell. And of course, if you haven't been living under a rock the last 48 hours, you have been hearing the name Khalil Shakir out of the game Saturday afternoon. One of the big standouts for the Buffalo Bills, not only in this preseason game, but of course, throughout training camp. Right off the bat in this game, he takes the first throw of the game, 25 yards for a first down, play action pass from Case Keenum. And he didn't stop there. He really put together a great day for the opportunities allotted to him. He only had five targets, turned that into five catches, 92 yards on the day for for Khalil Shakir to lead all receivers for the Bills. And you look at this roster right now, and I know we've had debates on here. I think the question's been brought up numerous times. Is the Bills wide receiver room going to have enough depth moving forward over the next couple of years to be able to sustain the success that they've had on offense? And I guess it was in question, right? You look at Stephon Diggs, he'll get up there in age, right? You lose Cole Beasley, you bring in veteran guys like Jamison Crowder, O.J. Howard, and maybe you do think to yourself, you know, how do we view this Bills offensive wide receiver unit as we continue to move forward year after year? Now, I don't want to look too far into the future. We got a big, big, big season coming up here right now. But these young guys are who you will look to as that future continues to come closer and closer to potentially fill roles. And as of right now, you look at Khalil Shakir, You look what he put out on the field Saturday. You look what he has been doing continuously throughout training camp this summer. There's no way the Bills can keep him off the field this coming year. There is no way Khalil Shakir does not find himself in a prominent role in this wide receiver locker room this coming season. He's just too good. I mean, you look at Gabe Davis. He comes in his rookie year. No one was expecting him to pop off. Now he's the solidified Bills wide receiver too. Puts together one of the greatest playoff performances a receiver has ever showcased. And now we all of a sudden just think of Gabe Davis as the guy, right? We didn't really give it much time. We didn't think much of it. It just happened. Now, Khalil Shakir has plenty of time to prove that he can be the guy. But when you take Khalil Shakir as late as you do in the draft, you don't go after a guy like him in pursuit of him potentially becoming Stephon Diggs or your wide receiver one. But the way that the draft is carried out recently in these last several years in the NFL these wide receivers there is just an abundance from the first round all the way down to the last pick wide receivers have become just an embarrassment of riches throughout the NFL coming out of college and the first thing we heard about Khalil Shakir when he was drafted by the Bills what was the first thing everybody said sneaky good pick by the Bills I really love this pick I think you know the Bills had an opportunity earlier on to go wide receiver. They chose to go with Khalil Shakir when they did. I didn't hear a single negative thing. I didn't hear a single negative thing in all throughout this off season, all throughout this training camp, the last month or so, we have heard his name time and time again, even from Josh Allen, of course, who he has been impressed with. And Khalil Shakir in an opportunity this past weekend delivers in the first snap of the game.